was suicidal and he had intents to go and do what he described as a Las Vegas style shooting. Breaking news at 11, a Washington man threatens to commit a Las Vegas style shooting, leading sheriff deputies on a high speed chase down I-5 this afternoon. Welcome to Coin 6 News at 11. I'm Jeff Gianola. Jennifer is off tonight. Here's what we know. The crash ended on I-5 just north of Kalama, where at least one innocent driver was injured. Investigators believe the suspect is a retired military veteran suffering from PTSD. Our Andrew Dimbert in Cowlitz County now with more. He was suicidal and he had intents to go and do what he described as a Las Vegas style shooting. 35 year old James Belevins, a military vet said to be suffering from PTSD, threatens to commit a mass shooting. Our deputies obviously knew this is a person who needed to be stopped. At around 4 p.m. Wednesday, military officers on Joint Base Lewis McCord near Tacoma tried approaching Belevins after reports of his threat. That's when he took them on a high speed chase down the state of Washington on I 5, speeds reaching up to 100 miles an hour during busy rush hour traffic. We were very concerned the way he was driving that somebody was. Uh, going to get seriously injured or killed. Washington State Police troopers had to back off the pursuit too dangerous for innocent drivers. Eventually, the chase picked up again this time. Cowlitz County Sheriff's deputies who thought they might be chasing down a potential mass shooter. They know that they have to do everything that they can as safe as possible, stop the person from the threat. After colliding with a semi truck early in the chase, Belevins then hit another driver who spoke to us off camera. She says she spun around in the middle of I 5 a few times, hitting her head. When she came to, she saw police surrounding Bevin's car, seen here crash through a fence, guns drawn. We're very, very relieved that they were able to get him into custody fairly, safely, with nobody seriously injured. Belevins got out of his car and was immediately taken into custody. He was not armed. This gentleman hopefully will never do anything like this again. Now, not only was Bull Evans not armed, authorities believe that he did not have access to any weapons. We're told that the FBI could look into this in the next couple of days, but for the time being, no indications that Bull Evans was actually equipped or prepared to follow through on his threat. Andrew Dimmer reporting for Coin 6 News.